What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, I'd like to talk about time clock some more, but before I wanna talk about time clock, make sure we, we did move uh, service history. Used to, used to have a magnifier right here. It's under customer list right now. So when you search for a customer and select a customer, you're gonna see service history right here. Just click on it and it was gonna do the same job as it was under magnifier right there. So yeah, make sure of that. All right, so let's talk about time clock. So the problem with time clock is, uh, what if sometimes that you forgot, you forgot to clock in somebody at a certain time or you wanna clock someone else uh, or somebody at, at a certain time or you forgot to clock somebody from a different date. So yes, you can do this to, uh, changes. Let's see how that work. Um, just gonna click on cl time clock plus sign. Uh, the regular way now, just select employee. Now it's gonna include the service writers and technicians, so you can clock in, clock out, service writer or technician doesn't matter. Um, just click on James. In this case, we're gonna click on clock in. It's gonna give you two options now or at certain uh, time. So just click for now and just start. That's just the regular way and just clock out now and stop. Let's do a different way, di different method to say. I forgot to clock in him this morning. So that's that's easy. Just click on select employee. I say Austin, clock in, and uh, we're gonna clock in him at 9 uh, a.m. So 09 and just start. So we can see like already it calculated 8.7 hours for him. And we can clock out, let's say at you actually you can even clock out before you even clock out. So if you if you wanna clock him out at uh, six o'clock. Um, it will clock out, clock him out at six o'clock, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna give him nine hours. Um, uh, if you want to clock in somebody from uh, the day before, it's easy. Again, just click clock in at, and you can just change the date. So say yesterday, I uh, came in at nine a.m. and just start clock out at. Make sure you change the date again, and uh, let's say clocked out at. 1600 stop seven hours so basically you have full functionality right now of clocking in a certain time or automatic every time you 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 enter it manually it's gonna document uh, this as manual entry otherwise it will be automatic like right now start clock in right now this is will documented as as long as you clock out automatically this will be documented as automatic um, let's go look at the reports real quick and we're going to click on payroll um, before I, I go to payroll I want to talk about employees yes we changed this to uh, employees where you can see uh, technicians and uh, and service writer at the same time it's a lot easier this way and just click on add employee and uh, you can switch between service writer and technician uh, yes we added salary and that's coming soon so you can pay salary so let's go back and uh, to payroll and just click on pay employees and we're gonna go to clocked hours and uh, if I select uh, say selecting Austin right here if you made a mistake it's all right that's no problem let's say we clocked in clocked down there's zero I can delete that just click on it and delete it no problem I can click on delete and just click if I want to mark and pay just click on pay um, uh, and just click pay and confirm exit so we, we did mark and pay so it won't come out so we continue on uh, improving uh, the time clock but uh, i think right now already like jumped from last week to this week to it's uh it's max potential i know like people always ask me like yeah chop monkey has time clock <laughs> Well, now we have it too, and uh, I, I think it's better than Chop Monkey because it's a lot easier uh, to understand. Like, hey, uh, select a customer and uh, clock in. Do you want to clock in at a certain time or just right now and just clock out? It's really simple, and you can clock in and clock out as many as you want. Uh, like if, if there's a launch, you can clock in and clock out, or you can add it manually. Um, uh, that's that's it for today been working all day so i'm a little bit tired anyway appreciate you until next time thanks for watching